Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to review the simple assignment operator, we are going to learn about the arithmetic operators, and we are going to learn about the unary operators. So first, let's review the simple assignment operator. We could use it in an example. We have int x, we declared x. We want to set x equal to 3, so we would do that. The simple assignment operator, which uses a single equal sign, it can be thought of as a left pointing arrow. Whatever is on the right side of the expression is calculated and put into the variable on the left side of the expression. Now let's talk about the arithmetic operators. We could use them two ways. First, we could say system out print line and have it calculate whatever was inside here. So it would do 3 plus 3, which would be 6, and then it would output the number 6. We could also use subtraction, multiplication, or division. Division is handled differently depending on whether we are dealing with an int primitive type or a double primitive type. We will learn more about how this works in another video. We can also use it to change the value of a variable. For example, we could say x equals 3 times 3. Or if we wanted to modify the value of x, Based on an old value of x, we could say x equals 3 times x, which would take the old value of x, multiply it by 3, and then take that product and put it as the new value of x. The one arithmetic operator you might not be familiar with is the mod operator, or the remainder operator. How this works is we would divide the first number by the second number and then we would take the remainder. So for example 3 goes into 4 one complete time and then there is a remainder of 1. So in this case it would output the number 1 because that is the remainder. There we go, our number 1. If we did 11 mod 3, 3 goes into 11 three full times and would leave a remainder of 2, so this would output 2. Finally, let's look at the unary operators. They can be used for shortcuts. For example, if we had x equals x plus 1, that would take the old value of x, add 1, and make that the new value of x. We could simplify that by saying x plus plus which is just shorthand for x equals x plus 1. Same thing with x minus minus would be shorthand for x equals x minus 1. There is another shortcut that we can use with the other arithmetic operators. For example, x times equals 3 would be shorthand for x equals x times 3. Finally, we have the not operator. So if we had a Boolean, z equals true, and then we wanted to say system out print line not, which is the exclamation point, z, the opposite of z, which is true, would be false. So this would print out false for us. For more information on the simple assignment operator, arithmetic operators, or unary operators, visit the following website, which you can reach by typing into Google, Summary of Operators Oracle, and clicking on the first result. To see the next video in the curriculum, please click on the video in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.